Okay, so let's try this one. 97% of 28 is what number? Okay. So just for fun, we could turn this into a little equation. Um, so the first thing I want you to do is to turn the percent into a decimal. If we turn the percent into a decimal, then we can work with it. We can use it in a calculation, right? So write 97% as a decimal. So remember 97% is 97 per 100, right? That's what it is as a fraction, 97 per 100. 97 hundredths is 0 0.97, isn't it? Or you could move the decimal point one, two spots to the left. But you've got to know that it's 97 hundredths. You've got to know that. That's important. Of means multiply. So, so turn of into multiply. So see if you can turn the whole sentence into an equation. Right, so of means multiply. Multiply by what? Of times 28 Okay, is equals... What number? How would you write that? Any letter, right? X. So I turned the sentence into an equation just for some algebra fun. I didn't have to. I could have just calculated 97% of 28. Now in this class we're going to try to do these things without a calculator. So 28 times 0 0.97. Let's multiply that. 7 times 8, 56, carry the 5. 7 times 2, 14, and 5, 19. Put down the 0. 9, 7, 9 eighths is 72. Put down 2, carry 7. 2 nines is 18, and 7 is 25. Now add these numbers. 6, 11, carry 1, 7, and 2. There are two decimal spaces in the question, so there must be one, two in the answer. 27.16. So our missing number is 27.16. Just pause and see if that makes sense to you. If I took 27.16 and I put it here, 27.16, would this sentence be reasonable? 97% of 28 is 27.16. Is that reasonable to you? So think of it this way. If the question was 100% of 28, that would be 28, right? So 100% of 28 is 28. So 97% is a little less than 100%. So the answer should be a little less than 28 right? So that looks reasonable, right?